Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of our Yakuza 4 Remastered Let's Play. On to episode 37, I think. Uh, lots of, it was a very dense story chapter. Um, Hazumaki washed up on shore. Haruka, no trusty Hazumaki. 100% understandable. Um, Hazumaki's like, you know what? I'll just turn myself in. Go there. Uh, run into Yasuko. We meet up in, I already forgot the guy's place. Hadachiri? Hadahashi? Hanashiro. I got there. Um, that dude who we kicked their ass at the start of three. Um, escaped our, got surrounded by, or got attacked by the guards of the penitentiary. Azuma, after we get through all of them, kicking Saito's ass two more times for the record. After we got our ass kicked once. It's okay. We got revenge. Um, words. Azumaki said, go. And that pretty much got us here. Um, also, this, everything that's going on is tied to the events of five years ago, which was Kwame 1. Fun. Let's see how this all plays out. So... If you are excited for some more story, you know, let me know with a comment, maybe even leave me a like. We're going to get straight into chapter two, Fukamarocho. That's not a face I expected to go to right away. He's okay. Leaving already, much on. You know, Zao-san, you've been a better friend to me than I've ever been to you. Don't be ridiculous. You know that's not true. I'm just sorry the truth turned out to be so harsh. Your father, murdered by another man on the force. I can barely believe it. You're telling me. Something about this doesn't sit well with me. How will your father's spirit ever find peace? I think he'll be just fine. Hmm? Chifasai, Saguchi-san. They're tired of being used by Manakata and Katsuragi all these years. Oh, so he killed himself. So yeah, it was a fake out to make you think that you now he killed Zao-san, but he ended up killing himself. In front of the child. Oh. The two of them spent their whole lives serving others. Their final moments, those were theirs, and theirs alone. They weren't following their own brand of justice. Or, they went out following their own brand of justice. Machan. Saguchi-san must have known uh, telling me the truth of what happened 25 years ago was signing his own death warrant. But he did it anyway. And Chief Hasai took his own life in order to spare you, me, and Mueha. That explains what he said into the phone before he shot himself. Both of them will be dealt with. Yeah. Chief Hasai told Manakata I was dead so he'd stop coming after me. He spared my life so I could do what's right. So that I could do what he never could. You mean bring Manakata down? Exactly. But how are we going to do that, Machan? Anakata is one of the most powerful men in one of the top police institutions in the world. Well, I don't think I'll be getting much help from my fellow officers, that's for sure. Yeah. Nihao. Akiyama-san. <laughs> you. Just really hit the proverbial fan, huh? You're telling me. Anyway, what's up? You wouldn't swing by here without a good reason. 
No, sometimes it's suppressing how sharp you are. What happened? District Attorney Goon showed up at my office. Started tearing the place apart at the seams. Not to mention, they chucked, uh, chucked me out onto the street. Wait, they're investigating Sky Finance? On what grounds? They said they're looking into some kind of coercion. The exact terms uh, eluding me at the moment. Anyway, the issue is my tests. They said I'm forcing people to do stuff they don't want to do in exchange for money. Classic coercion case, I guess. <laughs> it's like I can hear the words coming out of the DA's mouth himself. Anyway, I don't know, didn't know where else to turn, so I thought I'd drop by here. Looks like I caught you at a bad time, though. Want me to come back later? No, your timing's act your timing actually couldn't be better. Oh yeah, yeah. I need a hand with something, Akiyama-san. Don't even say goodbye to Haruka. March 13th, 5 p.m. Kiryu-san. This town looks the same as always, but I can tell something's not right here. There's no time to waste. Let's go find your brother. Right. But before we do, there's something I need to ask you. Follow me. Ah, Kamarocho. Ask Kiryu now. Feels good. Can't think of a better place to talk to new Serena. Yasuko-san. There's a bar near here that I used to go to back in the day. We can catch our breaths there for a bit. Okay, I'll follow your lead. No, it's, it's not low. Why? That's a big truck. Can we get around? Or do we gotta go in the back way? What's this truck doing here? Is someone moving? I guess we'll... What time the waste guy gets a new store? Oh, okay, I thought we'd go in the back way. Is... Uh, Date! Oh. Buddy! Date-san. Here we are again. What's going on, Kiryu? First you show up at a guy's bar and don't even drop him a line first? Sorry for not letting you know, Date-san. I have some business in town. Work never ends for the ex-fourth chairman, huh? You've got that right. That is literally this, like... That's... That happened... Yeah, when was the ex chair are becoming the sense two? That's like the series on is there is no rest for the ex fourth chairman. You've got that right. Anyway, this is Yasuko Saijima. I'm here helping her with a little something. It's nice to meet you. No, the pleasure's all mine. She gives a knockout carry you. How'd you end up bringing a girl like her back here, huh? Whatever you're thinking, I guarantee you, you've got the wrong idea. Let's leave it at that. By the way, where's Mama? Gone for the week. Family trouble. You know how it goes. You're holding down the fort while she's gone? <laughs> yep. It's real pain. With... What with my other work and all. But she insists we keep it open for the regulars. Lucky for us that she does. No care you. What's this little something you need to take care of? Oh, right. You mind taking a seat, Yasuko-san? Um, please. I just need to ask you something before we head out to find your brother. Okay. So what is it you want to ask me? Sorry if this is a blunt question. But why do you need to see your brother so bad? Bad enough to murder for it. Wait, you what? Kiri-san, is this really the best place to... Don't worry about Date-san. He's an ex-detective, yeah, but we can trust him. I promise. He'd never turn you in without hearing what you had to say first. Isn't that right, Date-san? 
Well, uh, yeah, that's right. Now tell me the truth, Yasuko-san. Why did you go as far, so far for your brother? I, Yasuko-san. Come on. It's because, because Taiga is everything to me. I owe him my life. What? I'm serious. If it weren't for him, I would have died years ago. Go on. Have you heard of the living donor kidney transplant? Oh yeah, you read about the you read about those things all the time. That's when they give you a kidney from one of your relatives, right? They say you only need one after all. Right. The truth of it is, I'm the recipient of one of those living donor transplants. And your brother's the one who gave it to you, huh? That's what you meant when you said you owe him your life. Yes. Hold on. Getting a transplant like that from your sibling isn't all that uncommon. I'm not judging or anything, but do you really owe him that much just for a kidney? It's not that simple. Think you can explain? The kidney I got. It wasn't Tigus. He wasn't a match. What? Different blood types? Well, yes, but... But what? Why couldn't you get the transplant from your brother? Yes, it on. I, um... I think I get what's going on here. You and Taiga aren't actually siblings. Gary, you. He's right. Taiga is my stepfather's son from his prior marriage while my mother had me before she and my stepfather ever met. Then where'd you find a match? Since my mother had already passed, Taiga tracked down my biological father and begged him to donate his kidney to me. Saijima. Beyond the regular difficulty of finding a kidney donor, my blood type is extremely rare. A direct relative was my only hope of a match. Once Taiga learned that, he spent every waking moment of his life scouring the city until he found my father. He was only 15 years old at the time. So just a kid, huh? I had honestly given up hope. Before my mother died, she told me my father was nothing more than an abusive drunk with no chance of ever changing. Based on what I knew, it seemed likely he was already dead. Even if he wasn't, I didn't want to live knowing I owed my life to such a horrible man. At the time, I would have rather died than continue carry on carrying a part of him inside me. But Taiga wouldn't take no for an answer. He said no matter what happened, he would take care of me. Then, he found your dad? Yes. Well, where was he? In Kansai. He had started working for a Yakuza organization called the Omi Alliance. Huh. There they are again. And the, the, the dirty job no one else wanted to touch. The Omi. That's right. Taigo went alone to Kansai, knowing full well that my father was Yakuza, but... Let me guess. They tried to extort him. Exactly. A Yakuza threw and through. My father demanded a massive sum of money in exchange for one of his kidneys. How much cash are we talking here? 30 million yen. 30 mil? That's a ton now, but that was a fortune back then. How was a kid ever supposed to get his hands on that kind of money? He wasn't. That was the point. The Taiga didn't give up. He started fighting thugs in the streets of Kamurocho, trying to scrape together whatever funds he could. That would never work, not for cash like that. It didn't, not until Sasai-san from the Tojo clan stepped in. He gave Taiga the 30 million yen in one condition. He joined the Sasai family. So that's how he ended up in the Tojo. All that time, Taiga never turned his back to me. Even when it seemed like all hope was lost, he supported me. He dropped out of high school, gave up his dream of becoming a teacher, even joined the Yakuza for me. Taiga as a teacher? Huh. That's what he meant when he said you owe him your life. That's right. He's everything to me. Not only did Taiga literally save my life, but he gave me the will to keep on living. That's a Kusan. To be frank, I don't really care whether or not he killed those 18 men. Even if the real killer is still at large, none of that matters. Whatever happened, Taiga is still my brother. I need you to stay here for now. Try to relax. Calm down a bit. 
That's cool to cure you. Can't you see how badly she needs this? As it goes on. Imagine you found out Hajimo was already dead. What would you do then? Take your own life? Damn, Kiryu. Done to the quick. That's a You keep saying you owe Tiger your life. And I get it. We all rely on other people. It's hard to keep going without someone loving you, supporting you, pushing you on board. But in your case, Taiga became more than that. He's not just your support. He's your reason to keep living. I... I know life hasn't been easy for you. Losing your parents is one of the worst pains imaginable. And you had to bear that burden at a far younger age than most. But having a hard life doesn't excuse the way you've lived. Not that I have any right to talk. I've made my fair share of mistakes. Here you. I understand why you feel so strongly, but that emotion has led you to some bad decisions. It's not a stretch to say it's completely clouded your judgment. So I need you to stay here while I figure out where your brother is. It's for your own good. But, here you. Don't worry, I'll find him. And I'll make sure you two are reunited, I promise. But for now, you just need to be patient, okay? Yes, thank you. Thank you, Yasuku-san. Take care of her for me, will you? <laughs> do I even have- do you even have to ask? You now have access to a hideout. Of course, we knew this was going to be our hideout. That one was a no-brainer. Find Saijima. Hold on a sec, Kiryu. What's wrong? There's something I need to tell you. Can I really say it in there? Does it involve Yasuko-san? You bet. If she found out about this, she just end up getting herself into more trouble. Well, what is it? Well, you only just got here, so you probably haven't noticed, but the whole town's been kind of on edge lately. Is this Saijima? Partially, I'm sure, but there's more to it than that. Word on the street is Majima and Saijima linked up a few days ago. What? Yep. I hear Majima had his boys line the whole damn street to keep the cops off Saijima. Huh. So they've already met. Speaking of, Date-san, do you know where I can find Majima-san? I need to talk to him as soon as possible. Not just about Saijima. Majima-san might be able to tell me more about the connection between the top brass, Jingu, and the Tojo clan. The police? What are you talking about? Sorry, but I can't say much more than that. Just know that people are go gunning for the Tojo. Per usual. And no matter what's going down, I need to hear Majima-san's side of the story. Alright. Last I heard, he'd taken up root at the top floor of Millennium Tower. Sorry, and there's your best bet. Great, thanks, Tate-san. Hmm? I got an email. I wonder... Oh. Rematch from four years ago. Come to Yoshida Batting Center. Let's finish what we started four years ago. So, Kawami 2 was one of the batting ones. Or, like, one of the... Like, we did one of the batting sub-stories. And I think... I can't remember. Was it the American... That was dating the Japanese girl? Maybe. In a carry curve 2005. Four years ago, huh? That could be just about anybody. Guess I'll find out what's up if I drop by Yoshida Batting Center. And more importantly, that right there is our boy Yuya. And he has a question mark over him. Which means I have sub stories to do. So, I will be back in a bit. Alrighty, I'm back. I've done a lot of running around to, uh, no, do pretty much all the sub stories. I say pretty much because, you know, you'll find out. You'll be seeing that later. But 
where I can finish off the chapter now. So, just walk in front. That triggers this little cutscene. Had to make sure I was recording. Because that would be bad. The hell's going on? Oh. Ajima, why are you in cuffs? The hell's going on? Majima san. For hiding. Majima san. Kiryu chan. Hey, don't move. It's far enough. What happened here? They trapped me like a freaking rat. Guess I'm getting, getting cropped for a while. Who's behind this? Daigo. Daigo? Uh, yeah, I, uh, that's the only Daigo we both know. Well, why would he... That's enough to chat. Either stay back. Unless you want to get hauled in too. Better hurry, Kiryu-chan. It's all one big spider web. Head back in 85 to 10 billion yen. Even Yasuko-chan. What? If we don't do something, the Tojo is going to bite the dust. Yasuko-chan's in danger too. It's... This is on you. You're all we got. <laughs> the hell's going on? That like two minute, 30 second cutscene was it? That's what I was trying to avoid. This entire time was a two minute and 30 second cutscene. I knew this was going to end the chapter. I didn't know it would end like that. So, uh, yeah, the screen means end of the chapter. I don't remember how long the first half of the chapter was because it's it's been about a week since I did the first half of this chapter. Yeah, you'll see why in the next few days because we have a lot of side story stuff and a lot and a training episode. So stay tuned for that stuff. Um. Let me know what you thought of the chapter. Um, still kind of in shock that, you know, that was it. I, th I thought we'd have like, I don't know, maybe like five to ten minutes worth of cutscenes, but oh well. Uh, anyways, let me know what you thought with a comment. Leave me a like, like, uh, a like while you're down there. And if you haven't already... Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that way you know when more Yakuza is coming your way. That's all I got for you today. Until next time. I'll do it right. Until next time.